Hey friends, I'm back with another spooky tutorial for you guys and in this one I am going to show you guys how to do a cut mouth or as many people know a Chelsea grin. So get ready and let's get spooky. Alright friends, so I grabbed my red lip liner just as a marker for where I'm going to do my smile and I tried to make it as symmetrical as possible. But don't worry about um, not making a perfect line. You will be covering this all up with liquid latex in a little bit. So do not stress that part at all. So then I grabbed my handy dandy liquid latex and a disposable makeup sponge. Definitely recommend using these disposable sponges instead of um, a beauty blender because liquid latex definitely ruins a lot of the tool so you want something disposable but as you can see I'm using the tip of the makeup sponge to outline the um, the base of the smile that I drew with the lip liner originally and once that liquid latex is on I'm grabbing toilet paper and then layering that bad boy on top of the liquid latex Once that toilet paper has attached itself to the liquid latex, you're going to want to rip off any excess and it should look a little something like this. And you're going to just repeat this process of layering liquid latex and layering toilet paper about three to four times just to create a thick layer of toilet paper. So once you're done layering, it should look a little thick like this. And the only bad part about liquid latex is it is a waiting game. So just be patient and make sure it is dry before moving on. But once we're ready, we're going to grab our foundation to match that patch to, oh that rhymed, to match it to our skin tone. So you're going to want to apply a good amount of foundation and then using a beauty blender, you're going to want to blend it into your skin. Once that foundation is set in, it's time for the fun part. You can grab your handy dandy scissors and start to cut out the line of your smile, but please be extra careful during this to make sure you do not actually cut your skin. So once the cuts are done, it should look a little something like this. And as you can see, I also have foundation on my lips. I think that helps out with the look as well. So as you can see, I'm grabbing my special effects paint pot. And if you don't have a paint pot, just use any lipstick you have. So I used black as a base, lightly put it over my lips. And as you can see, since I had that foundation on my lips, it kind of made my lips look cracked and dry, which really helps out with this look. So then as you can see, I am grabbing my red paint pot and just filling in the gaps so with this technique I actually ended up just mixing different reds to create a much more realistic cut mouth As you can see, the foundation, red and black on the lips gave it kind of a decaying effect on my lips. And now it's my favorite part, the blood. Using the stage blood, the first thing I did was apply it to the center of my lips and then I just filled in the cracks of the smile. And I definitely kind of went OD and just added a lot of blood. I definitely think that helped this look a lot more realistic. And the dripping effects definitely helps. And at one point, I actually messed up and put too much blood kind of on my chin. But I ended up just playing around and improvising. And as you can see, I tried wiping it off. But then I thought, hmm, maybe I could just make it look like a smeared effect. So I ended up just doing that and working around it. So that's the beauty of makeup. Even if you mess up, you can definitely make it work. 
And that's it, you guys. This is my favorite homecoming and prom makeup look. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. Okay, so as you can see, that is it for the Chelsea Grin Cut Mouth Special Effects. If you guys do recreate this, please tag me on my social medias. My Instagram is mossy underscore Nunez. And with that being said, I hope you guys have a safe fall and a happy Halloween. And stay tuned for more Halloween tutorials.